In this demonstration, we are going to use spatial analysis and insights to interrogate our capacity information from our network. Here we have all of the serving nodes within our Tampa area. We are looking at the past 11 weeks total utilization of capacity for each of our fiber nodes. We are also visually representing the average percent capacity for the fiber nodes over the past 11 weeks. And in this map, we are looking at our current week's average capacity, as well as within this map, looking at our previous week's average capacity. With insights, we can create graphs and charts that visually represent our average percent capacity or total node utilization over the past 11 weeks. We can select all of the fiber nodes that have a high utilization within that time frame. We can also select individual serving nodes and take a look at the statistics regarding that particular node's bandwidth information. Here we can see that the current week capacity is at 71%. The previous week's capacity was at 76% and the average capacity is at 72%. Now I want to add an additional layer of information so I can interrogate our data even further. So what I want to do is add trouble ticket information to Insights and compare that with our current high utilized serving nodes. So dropping our trouble tickets onto a map, we can now visually represent all of the trouble tickets reported within the last month. What I want to do is change the symbolization from points to a heat map so I can better visually represent all of the trouble tickets being reported within our network. Now I want to take these trouble tickets and spatially aggregate them to our serving nodes so we can get a total sum of all of the trouble tickets being reported by each fiber node. So taking our Tampa nodes, creating a new map, we can then take our trouble ticket information, drag it onto that map, and perform a quick spatial aggregation. I want to perform that spatial aggregation by summarizing all of the trouble tickets within our fiber nodes. Now we can visually see which of our fiber nodes currently have a high number of trouble tickets being reported. Now I want to take a look and see if we have any spikes in bandwidth this week compared to the average. So what I want to do Let's take a look at our Tampa node information and currently compare the average bandwidth consumption with our current week. I want to create a chart. In this example, we will use a scatter plot. And now we can look at the current week's consumption compared to the average consumption over the past 11 weeks. Next, I want to change the color of our scatter plot and represent it by our current node status. Looking at this information, the blue nodes represent no known issues, while the orange nodes represent experiencing service issues. So taking a look at the scatter plot, it looks like that there is one node anomaly up here. This current node is experiencing service issues and the average bandwidth consumption was at 62%, while this week's consumption is at 96%. So let's take a look and focus in on that particular node. Scrolling up, we can see that this week's consumption is at 96%, while last week's consumption was at 94%. But as we've already seen, the average consumption is at 62%. Looking at our trouble tickets, it does look like there are a high number of reported trouble tickets for this particular node. So since there is a high number of trouble tickets reported, a high bandwidth consumption compared to the average, and it looks like this particular node is experiencing service issues, this is an area of concern and we should let our operations team know about it. The other anomaly on our scatter plot is this one right here. This current node status is no known issues, but the average bandwidth consumption was at 33%, and this week it's at 
Selecting that particular node, we can zoom in and take a look at exactly where that node is. And here we can see that the average this week is at 84%. The previous week was 72%. But again, the average is only 33%. Looking at our trouble tickets, it doesn't look like that there are any trouble tickets reported for this particular area. Zooming in further and doing some additional research, we know that this particular area is the University of Tampa, and two weeks ago students reported back to school for the fall semester. So this explains the increased spike in bandwidth consumption for the past two weeks. With Insights, you can spatially analyze your node information and other capacity information and get greater insight into what issues you're currently having within your network today and over time. Mm -hmm.